This recent update from LinkedIn may have passed you by this summer. LinkedIn announced the new business manager a few weeks ago and the new centralized platform is really aimed at making sure all of your organization's ad accounts and pages are all in one place, simplifying your experience on LinkedIn. It's great for managing multiple assets. So if you're in charge of a number of different LinkedIn company pages, perhaps you're working for an agency, or maybe you have a large enterprise that has various different pages and assets, then this is the place that pulls it all together. So the centralized platform is very similar to Facebook Business Manager. You're able to view and manage your teams, your ad accounts, your pages, and your partners from the central dashboard. It also makes it a lot easier for management, such as controlling admin tasks, and also billing for your LinkedIn adverts. You can also share and update matched audiences. So if you are using matched audiences, which is LinkedIn's version of custom and lookalike audiences, then you can share those across ad accounts by using Business Manager. So if you wanna get set up on Business Manager, then simply head to business.linkedin.com forward slash business dash manager. You can also just Google LinkedIn Business Manager and you'll come to this page. You can create one or you can sign in to an existing one. So I've already created one for Avocado Social, but I'll just show you those steps so that you can easily see what information is needed. So just waiting for that to load. So you would give your business manager account a name. That's the name of that your employees and partners will use to identify your business. You should also put your work email in. So that's the email address you use for work. It does not need to match your personal LinkedIn profile if you don't want it to, but chances are it probably will be the same one. And then just answer the question, how will you primarily use this business manager to manage my business or to manage my clients or other businesses? And then you would create that there. So if I sign in to an existing business manager, which is the Avocado Social Business Manager, hopefully it should log me in automatically, but we shall see, taking a little bit of time today. So you can see the name of the business manager clearly appears here. It has an individual ID there, just exactly the same as what Facebook does. And then what I can do is start to invite people within my organization, set up or add existing ad accounts to, and also add existing pages. So if I've got any company pages, I can put those within my account. So you can see here, we've got Richard and Alison. I can adjust the actions um, here so I can give you know, different roles to different people within the business. I can get rid of people if I want to as well. Um, just going down the list here, I do have an existing ad account, so I don't think I've added that yet. So let's have a look and see how straightforward that process might be. Hopefully it is what pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna claim ownership of an ad account that my business already owns. Uh, so I need to find the ID for that. So it says all account IDs can be found in the accounts tab in Campaigns Manager. So if I go into Campaigns Manager by heading to LinkedIn, just the normal homepage, should be signed in hopefully. Yeah, so just at the top here where it says advertise. So this is campaign manager and I'm looking for that long ID code for avocado social. So I'll just find the avocado social. Here we go, there's the account ID. So I'll just hit manage. No, it's not giving me an option to copy and paste that very easily. So I'll just have to do it like that. Hopefully that can go in here and click add. So there we go. It says it's added. 
And if I refresh the page, there's my advertising account. And then let's just check to see whether the page is in there too. So I do have a LinkedIn company page. So it's owned by my business. So I'll just give it a little search, see what comes up. There it is. Yep, I'm verifying that I understand that only page admins should be invited to business manager to continue managing roles. And I author, I'm an authorized representative of the business too. Okay, so everything's ready to go in my business manager. And as you can see, it just makes it a lot easier to have everything in one place now.